Hello everyone. So today I'm going to explain that how to enable HTTPS in Spring Boot applications. So nowadays basically the security is the main concern while we are implementing any project or anything. So basically nowadays we are doing some projects in a Spring Boot. So security is the like main concern, right? Like how we are going to improve the security of our application. So enabling the HTTPS HTTPS into our application. This is one of the things for improving the security for our applications. So the enabling the HTTPS, the HTTPS means like hypertext transfer protocol secure. Okay. So this is the most crucial step to protect important data and other major things. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the different types of process, how we are going to configure and enable the HTTPS in Spring Boot applications. Okay. So basically the uh, like uh, HTTPS, as I said, like this is stands for this hypertext transfer protocol secure. So when Spring Boot application basically starts by default, it uses the HTTP and it is started in the 880 port. So for whenever we are going to configure this HTTPS protocol and the port we are going to use this 443. This is the in the Spring Boot applications. So for that we need to basically follow some steps and I'm going to like uh, explain those things gradually in this slide also or also in programmatically I will show you that how we are going to enable this HTTPS and also like configure this HTTPS into our system. So before going to the any detail, like if we talked about that, what is the SSL? Like this SSL is a like a kind of it's a certificate that we can use for authentication of a website and it creates a secure connection between client and web server. Okay. So so when basically any communications occur between client and server, that is the like two way communications then companies or any organization need to add the SSL certificate to their website to secure the online transactions and keep the customer data private even also like sometimes also we need we are using credit card informations or any banking information means secure information so in that time if we are use this SSL certificate so those are basically protect our data for hacking or something so that's why this is very important to implement this SSL certificate or configure the HTTPS this is very important or crucial part for improving the security okay so next we will talk about the process like what approaches basically we need to take to adding this uh, or maybe configuring the HTTPS into our system so first of all we need to create one self sign certificate that basically certificate we are going to add over here then once I will show you that how we are going to create this self sign certificate and once we will create that certificate then we need to add this some properties extra properties into our application dot properties file and also we need to provide the path that where basically that certificate the self sign certificate is stored so based on that we need to provide some details over there once we are updating those things then once after that if we run the application then automatically it will started in HTTPS in the whatever the port we will define okay not only the 443, we can define other port also, but 443 is the default port that also we can define over there. So this is the like overall things that how we are going to, this is the process and brief introductions about this SSL and how we are going to configure those things into our Spring Boot applications. Next, I will create one Spring Boot applications or maybe into our existing application also we can add. So I've already one existing applications over there. I will add those properties and accordingly we can like uh, we will start this application so that we can access instead of uh, HTTPS HTTP we can access those URL using the HTTPS. Okay, so without further ado, let's create the application and uh, configure the HTTPS into the existing Spring Boot application so that we can understand more detail right because instead of the theory if we see all the things into the like practical then it will give us the better idea so better to switch to the in practical portion so that we can get more idea on this 
so as I said earlier so we are going to enabling the HTTPS into our existing application Spring Boot applications or maybe if we are creating any new applications over there also create any like this enabling the HTTPS into our existing application okay so as I said like uh, I'm already having this uh, project actually Spring Boot application into my system so that I have created for uh, demonstrating that how we are going to enable the virtual thread for boosting the performance of our application in case of the blocking calls. So I'm going to use these same services for uh, like uh, giving the demonstrations for enabling the or configure the HTTPS into our existing Spring Boot applications. So the step wise as I said earlier also for enabling this one we need to first uh, like create the self sign certificate then we need to add some properties into the this application dot properties file either or maybe in a like uh, maybe YML file if you are using so over there we need to using those things and then we just need to start our applications in the console you can see that instead of HTTP it's now started on the HTTPS so how we are going to create the self sign certificate so for that basically there are one tool Java actually command to create this self sign certificate so what is the command I'll show you so for that basically uh, we need to open the CMD like this is the command uh, uh, what you can say this is the command line tool uh, from here we can like uh, use the key tool so this key tool is basically used to create the self sign certificate okay key tool hyphen gen key so this will this uh, will generate the key then slash alias so alias means what is will be the alias name of this key so we can say any things that we can say like maybe uh, HTTP cert okay then store type okay store type so what will be the store type store type will be the pkcs12 okay next key algo what will be the key algo so this is the RSA algo okay what will be the key size so the key size will be 2048 then key store the key store will be like key store dot p12 okay and the last one is we are defining the validity so I'll explain the detail and the validity will be let's say 365 days okay so once we will click this then we can it will generate the like this uh, key store actually so JDK actually if we have the JDK installed into our system this JDK actually come with this key tool this key tool availability okay if you don't have the key means install the JDK then you don't have to access this key tool but if you are having the install then we can easily like uh, access this key tool now once we click the enter then it will actually access for something like uh, the password and okay generate the okay gen key pair alias okay options okay so here is a means this sort one we need to create something like this hyphen sort okay still it's not taking okay validity okay here is a typo this validity v a l i d i t y okay now actually basically it will ask for this you can see over here it is asking for the key what key store password so here we need to mention so i mentioned the password then again we need to re-enter the password okay after this we need to define the first name and last name so I am giving the dummy kind of thing organization unit then uh, what is the name of your organization then city or lo locality so we can say like uh, Mumbai then state okay then country code okay 
so here we need to press the yes that means all information are correct once we press the enter then it will say that uh, it will generating this 2048 bit RAC key pair and self signed certificate with a validity of 365 days for CN means this is the last name first name then test then location state and the like the country name okay so this chain key means it is, will basically uh, allow to generate the key pair alias is the name for this item the store me type means the store type is basically type of the key store so that is a uh, like pkcs12 the algorithm is to generate the key pair the size of the key key size means size of the key key store the name of the key store and the validity means the number of days it will be validated or not so here basically the generate here basically you can see this folder it is generated this key store dot p12 this is generated over here okay so now this is done so next what we will do we will open the spring boot application and over there we need to put some properties over here so as we are not using the like uh, virtual third variable so let me commentate this code over here and uh, it is a kind of very simple application here we are having just only one uh, like api over here and we are going to call this particular api instead of http uh, like we are going to call this with https so for the time being if i going to like uh, start this application then let me show you once it will start then it will start in a localhost 880 port with uh, like uh, what you can say with uh, uh, HTTP okay so okay it will it is starting this is the Java 17 project You can see the Tomcat started on port 880 with HTTP with context for this, right? So now if we want to access this, then we can access. So here you can see I have accessing this uh, API over here. So we are using this uh, HTTP and 880 port. Okay, using this we are going to access over here. Now let me stop this application. Now we need to add some properties over here. So what is the property? First of all, we need to define this server dot port. Uh, equals to it's a uh, 443 then like server dot ssl dot key hyphen store key hyphen store equals to here we need to define the key store like this name okay this name we need to define and also we need to like copy this one copy this key store actually under this resources over here okay okay so this is done next we need to provide server dot ssl dot key store password okay equals to so what was the password you are giving that password we need to give over here okay so server dot ssl dot key store password this is and then we need to define key store type so what is the key store type the key store type is pks that we have given right the key store type the key store type is this one pkcs12 so this is also we need to defining over here and the next like we need to define the alias server dot ssl dot key alias equals to so what will be the alias name so we have defined in the alias name is this http sat right this is the alias name okay so this is the alias name so this configuration basically we need over here so once we have added this and also like we have added this uh, key store over here next one we need to start this and also if we want to like uh, using the like uh, yml file over there also we can add these things uh, so this is also very simple only like we need to uh, use over here so i'm not going to over there in the yml file okay so let me restart this application 
so this port basically it will defining the like which port basically we need to run instead of default port 8080 then the key store means the path that key store is basically stored over here okay could not load the store from the key store okay okay then the store password this is the defining password and then the type of key store that also we need to define over here and the key alias is used to identify the things okay but why it is not able to get so we need to define the class path over here class path color so now it will able to get this particular things now if i want if we start this one okay it will start now okay you can see the tomcat initialize with port 443 https right you can see over here tomcat started on port 443 https means it started on https instead of http so now if we want to access the same api then you can see we are not able to access for this port because it's now available on 443 means default port and here also we need to say it's a https okay now we can get the details over here okay go to advanced process to low proceed to local host. so you can get the response over here so but it is showing that not secure because certificate is not valid so for creating the certificate basically there are certain things that we need to follow there are certain rules and also the public key which are not basically it's not valid over here i am created the this uh, certificate with the dummy data so this is not a valid that's why it's saying that certificates it's not valid so we need to create those things uh, with uh, like uh, what you can say with uh, uh, some organizations which are providing those things so then we can get those details then it will be actually um, uh, work as a like a valid one but for the timing it will be something like this it will show okay and here you can get the details like this uh, issue or two issued by then issued on the next expiry it's a 365 days this is the certificate this is the public key okay over here also you can get the details of this all those things okay from here also you can export the certificate so using this like we can um, convert this uh, HTTP to HTTPS or we can say we can enable over here like using uh, this is very few step we need to follow actually for enabling this one okay so this is the overall thing that how we are going to enabling uh, the configure HTTPS into our existing spring boot applications so this is the simplest way so just to summarize what we need to do first of all we need to generate the like uh, uh, like uh, store the certificate basically key store basically using the key tool command and then we need to I add these properties into our application.properties file and then we need to rerun our application so that uh, it will start on the HTTPS and 443 port. Okay, so this is the overall thing that how we are going to configure HTTPS into our system into our Spring Boot application. If you guys have anything, please do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please press the bell icon for further notification. Thank you for your time. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Thank you.